conditional formatting is used to highlight important values or unexpected results, in the data displayed in an analysis cross tab. In this tutorial, you will define and apply a conditional format. Note that this tutorial was recorded using the SAP Business Objects Business Intelligence 4.0 platform, version 14.0.0.760. To navigate, use the viewer controls or follow the on screen instructions, if available. Define the conditional format to highlight values less than $75,000 in the orders amount column. The conditional formatting feature is found on the Analyze tab. Click the Analyze tab. Click Conditional Formatting. Provide a meaningful name for the new conditional format. Click in the Name text box. Type order amount less than 75,000, and then click the Based on list. Choose a measure on which to base the conditional format. Select Order Amount. Choose how the conditional format will be displayed. Click the format list. Select cell background. To define the rule for when to apply this conditional format, first set the rules priority. Note that one conditional format can contain multiple rules for when it should be applied. Click the priority list. The priority determines which rule is applied to a data cell. If the data meets the criteria for more than one of the rules in the conditional format, the highest priority is 1. In this example, only one rule will be defined in this conditional format. If more than one rule is defined, each rule should be given a unique priority. Select 1. Choose an operator to use in the rule. Click the operators list. Select less than. Set a value to use in the rule, and then add the rule to the conditional format. Click in the value text box. Type 75,000, and then click Add. Preview the conditional format, to decide if you want to cancel it or apply it. Select the Preview checkbox. Note that values less than $75,000 in the Order Amount column, are highlighted in the Cross tab. Apply the conditional format. Click OK. You have successfully defined and applied a conditional format. This is the end of the tutorial.